you get to decide what you want to make of this life, okay? And your business is just one of the tools, it's just one of the vehicles to help you lead the life that you're dreaming of, okay? Welcome to the Product Boss Podcast, where we're dedicated to helping product-based business owners turn into revenue-generating, successful, happy product bosses. I'm Jacqueline Snyder. And I'm Mina kunlo Sitep. Together through digital courses, coaching, and masterminds, we've helped over 50,000 students from startup to multi-million dollar businesses scale their sales while blending in their dream life. It gets lonely out there in the product business world. We fully believe a business shouldn't be built alone. There's room at the top for all of us. So let's get scrappy and creative together, Product Boss, to be profitable, make more sales, and grow your visibility. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Hey there, friend. Can you believe that the summer is already starting to wind down? It always feels like summer is never long enough, right? And that's exactly why it's so important to make the most of the remaining summer days we have left. Now, as a product boss, you're probably wondering about the best way to do that, especially as we're about to head into our busiest season yet. Now, the answer lies in embracing AI. The latest research reveals that marketers have been able to cut their work time on manual admin tasks in half with the help of AI. I know. Wow. Mind blown. So if you're a product-based business owner wearing all the hats and constantly feeling like there's never enough time in the day, imagine what having your time on those marketing tasks could actually mean for you and your business. That's why HubSpot has integrated AI tools directly into their CRM platform, which features things like ChatSpot and Content Assistant. With a straightforward chat-based command, You can summarize research, create copy, and pull reports in seconds. This means you can spend more of your precious time on things like making your products and shipping and serving your customers. It's time to start working smarter, not harder, product boss. Learn more and get started at HubSpot.com. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Product Boss Podcast. It's a Just Jack episode. So glad that you're here. I'm Jacqueline Snyder, if you don't know me already. And I want to dig in to this topic that comes up a lot, which is a lot of you out there, I know you want to make money in your business. And a big goal for a lot of product-based business owners is to hit six figures, that $100,000 mark. That is a huge goal, a place to get to. And I got to be honest, it was my goal too. I just wanted to have a $100,000 business, right? And then eventually my goal changed to, I want to pay myself $100,000, but I had to grow my business. So we grew it and we grew it. But the thing is, is a lot of times when we're thinking about getting to six figures or beyond, it also feels overwhelming. We don't know the exact steps we need to take. Feeling like if we did any more than we're currently doing, we would just like break, right? Or the capacity of time, A lot of you might have full-time jobs and you're thinking, how can I get to six figures and still have a full-time job because I'm not ready to leave my full-time job? Um, Or I have kiddos around and I need to put my time to that. Or, Or you're taking care of an elderly parent or you have someone at home that just really needs you or you just need you, right? So a lot of times I think the idea of scaling your business and getting to six figures and beyond feels overwhelming because you don't know the steps to take and you don't realize that it can look different than the way that it looks right now. But what I want to do is I really kind of want to jump into the simplest way to scale and kind of discuss with you how this can be easier. We want it to be easier and where you can, you know, sell more and do less, meaning you don't have to be doing all the things in all the places. You can sell more of your products by learning what we teach is that simple way, that roadmap to six figures and beyond. And what does it come down to? It comes down to focus. It comes down to focus to scale. Now, I am a creative. I have a bachelor's in fine arts. I have made things my whole life. I like to paint and draw and make things and I'll see something and I'll get inspired. I want to make something else. So I am completely with you when we think, focus. How do I stay focused? But I have ideas. I want to make things happen. I want to make beautiful things. But the thing is, is that when we get unfocused or squirrely or shiny object syndrome, or we go to, you know, Michael's or Hobby Lobby or a craft store or a jewel, um, I, like I'd get so inspired by uh, gem shows, right? You go there and you're like, oh, but I can do all of this. 
And yes, you can, but then you have to ask yourself a question. Do I want to make money? Do I want to keep money in my pocket? Do I want to do slightly the more boring thing for my creative energy? Or do I just want to be creative and make? Because one thing that I've said, and I want you to hear me when I say this, if you're bored, get a hobby. Your business is not necessarily meant to be boring because there's always going to be something happening, right? You can get you can get creative with with um, marketing. You can create get creative where you show up. You can get creative with photos you take. You can get creative with your products, but it's not making all the products. So if you're bored, get a hobby. If you want to keep making things and, and doing stuff, make that a Friday, and that is your hobby day of just being a crafty creative, someone with a bunch of ideas. But let's say Monday through Thursday is when we put on our boss hat, we put on our business hat and we're like, okay, I'm going to stay focused because what my goal is, is to get to six figures and beyond. Okay. So that's the first part I want to say. Okay. So if you've been here for a while, I want to talk to you a little bit about the bestseller. We have tons of episodes on this. We host challenges on this. This is something that we teach inside of our signature program, Multi-Stream Machine, is that we talk about the bestseller. So the bestseller is also could be considered your money-making product offering. It's a thing that makes you money. If you're just starting out or you haven't made a lot of sales, there are, I'm telling you, if you think about it or you look at your numbers, there are products that you have sold that you're selling more of. You've sold a couple more body butters than you're used to selling, right? You've sold a few more chunky necklaces than thin dainty necklaces. You've sold more boys clothes versus girls clothes, for example, or unisex, right? Maybe you sold more unisex and you're like, oh, people want both, right? So you're thinking about this and I want you to think about what's already, what are people reaching for? What are people looking at? What are people voting with their dollars, meaning they're spending money on these certain things? Um, And then as you've grown and let's say you're making a few hundred dollars a month, a few thousand dollars a month, tens of thousands of dollars a month, you also know the products that people keep coming back to you for. So the first part is that power of focus of, of really thinking, what is my product? What is my bestseller? And I don't want you to make the mistake of trying to be everything to everyone and offer everything because that is where the money gets drained. That is where the money goes, it sinks your boat, right? The it, money is like water, like filling up your boat versus um, there being like a boat that just floats and keeps moving forward. If you can hear that, see that visual. Now, when you narrow down and we talk about Pareto's principle of the 80-20 rule, that 20% of your products can account for 80% of your revenue, 20% of your products can account for 80% of your revenue, you start to look at that and say, wow, it would be so much easier if I just focused, right? And made for every $100 I made, $80 came from these particular products. So that's the first way, right? So we talk about this. We teach this in our programs. You've heard it on the podcast as well. But this is the very, very first part of the simplest route to scaling to six figures and beyond. Nowhere in this did I say you make a ton of products for everybody and you sell everything to everyone. Because if you're selling everything to everyone, you're actually selling nothing to no one, all right? So we really want to get focused. And that's the first part. Then once you've kind of identified that moneymaker and you've focused, then what you want to do is you want to multiply the points of discovery. So what does that mean? We talk about invisibility. We talk about it getting more eyes, but you want to multiply where people find you. So do you already know the places and the platforms that you're going to show up to sell and that your customers are actually hanging out at? Because the thing is, another thing that people do is You may, you know, I talked about this um, in a previous episode about the eco-friendly, the multi-stream machine student has eco-friendly sponges that had the offer. They had the amazing product, but they were, and they were selling in person, but they were selling to the wrong people in person. So they knew that in person was the sales channel that they wanted to make their transactions at. They knew that in person was the quickest and easiest way for them to get visibility, more eyes on their business to be discovered. But so it was a discovery point, but it wasn't the right people at the right uh, wanting wanting the products she had to sell. So she figured out the right in person places to be. This is everything she learned inside of Multi Stream Machine. So for you, are you multiplying the points of discovery? And not only are you multiplying those points of where people can discover you, but that that's where your customers actually are. All right. So that's the second part. 
finding more places to be, be discovered. And what we teach inside of Multistream Machine, for example, is that you can get more eyes on your product. You can get visibility and sales at the same time. It's not one before the other. It's not, hey, grow, go grow your email list to thousands and thousands of people before you could ever make a sale or before you could ever hit six figures. Because I have people in our programs and multi-stream machine that have hit six figures without having an email list, without having a um, large following on social media. I even have someone who makes $18 million in their product business. Okay, I said, let me say it again, $18 million in their product-based business and they have 1,500 followers on Instagram. It's mind-blowing. Hey friend, I'm just going to interrupt this episode really quickly because it's podcast recommendation time. Okay. So this month we are really enjoying the hustle daily show. It's hosted by Zachary Crockett, Jacob Cohen, Robert Litters, and Julie Bennett, which is brought to you by the HubSpot podcast network, the audio destination for business professionals. The hustle daily show brings you a daily dose of offbeat and informative takes on the most recent interesting business and tech stories. One of my favorite things about the show is how on top of the stories they are, because they make sure that their episodes are always released and relevant to what's currently happening in the world. So one of their most recent episodes is all about the writer's strike, which is happening in Hollywood. And it's actually affecting my family because if you don't know it, my husband is an actor and now his union as the actors are striking and the writer's strike. And they're really talking about what AI has to do with those strikes. And let me tell you, it is so informative because as business owners, I think it's so crucial for us to understand what's happening in the world outside of our own market to see how it can play into our businesses as well. Because while AI is amazing, there are a lot of cons for writers and actors. And this episode is really interesting and it, they dig in and they'll give you their take on it. So I can't wait for you to dive into that episode. Listen to The Hustle Daily Show wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, hey, product boss. We all know that building a product-based business isn't easy, is it? But here's the truth. It doesn't have to be so hard. In fact, when you have the right systems and support in place, you can skyrocket your sales and finally create the product business that fits your life and lifestyle. That's why we're so excited to announce that Multistream Machine is officially open for enrollment for a limited time. We've taken our 20 years of experience in building product-based businesses, including our own, which have generated millions and created a completely turnkey system to help you scale your business and create the revenue you've dreamed of. If you're a product-based business owner who's ready to build a sustainable and thriving business that can support itself and pay you the salary you dream of. Or get more customers to easily find you and buy from you without spinning your wheels while stuck on social media and spending money on paid ads. Have a clear roadmap that shows you exactly how to create a plan and sell more so you can stop guessing and start knowing. Then you're going to want to head to multistreammachine.com and check it out. You can go through the course at your own pace. Your satisfaction is guaranteed. And our thousands of alumni can tell you there's no other course for product-based businesses like it. So friends, we'll see you in there. We have another student that sells, shout out to Static Block, it's Donna. And Donna created a anti-static spray and she had three variations of it, but she decided when she joined Multistream Machine, she decided that she was going to take the bestseller, the one particular static block spray and get that on Amazon, Amazon Prime. So what happened there? She got discovered by more people uh, because she was doing things that we taught inside of the program, she was able to get discovered and then start to build organic traffic, which she became an Amazon's choice product. And within the first, I think she said 90 days of her business, she started having, she made $30,000. $30,000, one product, because she multiplied the points of discovery. She got on a platform, a sales channel that also got her eyes that was in front of the right customers. So that's the question to you. Are you, do you know your best product? Are you staying focused? And are you multiplying those points of discovery where they can also be sold to as well? All right. Now, 
what you're what you're hearing here and what we're teaching you is not the idea of um, paid advertising, right? It's not the idea of paying for the eyes. Now, if you have the budget, the know-how, the team, and you want to do paid ads, that is a very quick way of getting more eyes on your business and converting to sales if you have the right ads and you have the right team behind you. But if you don't, which most of us don't, most of us do not start out that way, it's up to us to create that organic visibility, right? To multiply the points of discovery and to multiply the points that they can have transactions with us and sell and buy, right? So we can sell. So there is a long-term benefit to learning this organic growth, organic visibility, um, niching down in your offerings early that is going to set you up to sell and scale faster and easier right? Because you want to think about ways in which you're going to enhance your visibility to get that organic visibility and then how to get in front of the right customers. And so as you do this, this is the fastest way. Brennan Candle Co., okay? Just to talk about her for a sec. She um, she created, she's candles. In her first year of business after joining Multistream Machine, she hit six figures, $100,000 in her business in the first year, because she used what she learned. She focused, she niched down, she figured out the candles she was going to sell, and she decided on the ways that she was going to multiply her visibility and sell more. I think that she did direct-to-consumer, but really wholesale was a driving factor for her. And she discovered how to unlock the power of wholesale. And this is without even having to do something like FAIR, but we actually teach you how to find customers um, wholesale customers, how to sell more to them, right? So she was able to hit $100,000 in her first year selling candles, okay? This happens. These are not um, stories that are not possible. You've heard us talk a lot about Rachel Dunn and Rachel Dunn Jewelry. She has a full-time job. She has a son um, on the autism spectrum. She has a lot of responsibilities. She's taking care of her mom and she makes handmade jewelry and has a full-time job. So her handmade jewelry and her sales and everything else happened in her fringe hours. In the first year after joining Multistream Machine as a part-time, her business is her part-time, right? Part-time is her jewelry business, Rachel Dunn Jewelry. She hit about $50,000 in her first year. And by her second year was on her way to $100,000. So you can go as fast or as slow as you want. You can be part-time and scale to six figures and beyond. You can be full-time and scale to six figures and beyond. But it's your choice to decide how fast you want to go put your foot on the gas pedal. But I will tell you that very, very first step for you is one, to believe it's possible, to lift that cap off of your glass ceiling. We've all created our own glass ceilings for ourselves. So what's the glass ceiling that you have created for yourself? And how do you raise that ceiling? Let's just start with raising it. If you can't break through it, let's raise it up a little higher, right? Let's prove to ourselves that we are capable. So many of you are women So many of you are juggling and balancing so many things. And we have, you know, um, we have everyone here, like all folks from from everywhere and and you're all welcome. But for my friends that that are women that have, you know, walked this line between blending motherhood, career, dreams, potential, being a spouse, um, how we feel like we are a lot of things to a lot of people. It's hard sometimes to then believe in ourself or our capacity. But I want you to think about the capacity that you already hold. I want you to think about the things that you've already done in this life, right? And that this is potential, but you need to believe in yourself. And I believe in you. I don't even need to know you, but I believe in you. And what I want to do is I want to equip you with the tools. I want to equip you with a few mindset shifts. I want to equip you with the exact steps to take so that you can believe in you too, right? So let's have those quick wins. Let's have those little steps in the right direction. And you don't necessarily need to know how to scale the six figures right away. But I first want you to believe that it's possible and that it's possible without um, feeling like it's going to overtake your life because there's so many ways you can build a six-figure business and beyond without it being the way that you think it already is. Because guess what? It's your business. You can make your business the way you want it to be. You can make the life you want it to be. There's there are examples. There's so many examples of people. We have another student that is a candle that has a candle company as well, and she hit six figures in her business. It's part time. She's also a therapist, and she closes her business down for six weeks every summer to spend it with her kids. It's possible. 
You get to decide what you want to make of this life, okay? And your business is just one of the tools. It's just one of the vehicles to help you lead the life that you're dreaming of, okay? So I hope that this helps with that that route to six figures. Um, As always, you know we're here to support you on the podcast. We have Multi-Stream Machine, which is our signature program that has had so many incredible results that if it is something that you have been considering for a while, you've heard about, go check it out at multistreammachine.com. It's there. It's there to support you. And it's there to give you the tools as you are on this journey. And I'm just so glad to walk along uh, this path with you. All right, my friends, until next week. Thank you for being here and listening all the way through the Product Boss Podcast. If you love our show and it has helped you in any way in your business, would you mind doing two things for us? Subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode and leave us a review. Reviews help other product entrepreneurs know that this is the place to be to grow their businesses and realize that they're not alone. And we know that you all know that a five-star and honest review helps you sell more products to more people. So you know that your reviews help us reach more listeners around the world. Remember, what we give is what we receive, and we are all about helping each other in the Product Boss community. We are all in this together. We would be so appreciative of you if you could take the time right now to subscribe, leave a review, and even share this episode on social or someone you know so we can impact more lives. And remember, subscribing means that you will get notified each time we release a new episode so you never miss a thing. You have helped us grow and climb into the top 10 of all marketing podcasts and together we can keep climbing. Thank you, friends. And remember, there is room at the top for all of us.